Hi, today I'm reviewing the Paula's Choice 1% Retinol Treatment. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money, so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And if you want to help support the channel, click on the Amazon link below before you make any purchases. So this is one of my favorite products. I have bought this time and time again. I run out, I get another one. Uh, this is the full size, which is one ounce and sells for $56. And this is um, one of the best retinols on the market. It is a higher percentage. 1% is uh, about the highest you wanna go. So if you haven't used a retinol before, you're gonna wanna start with something a little bit lower. Uh, First Aid Beauty makes a great uh, retinol treatment that I think is 0.25%, so that's a good place to start. Uh, what makes this one stand out is the fact that it's got a lot of skin soothing ingredients in it. Um, retinol can be very harsh to your skin. Uh, it works by um, kind of bringing out the younger skin cells, so it definitely can have some exfoliation properties and it is a pretty strong ingredient so it can cause some redness, some flakiness, like I said, because it's exfoliating the skin. So you definitely don't wanna start out right away with the 1%, but definitely work your way up to it. But if you are at the 1%, this is a great one. Um, and it's packaged in a nice container which pr protects the ingredients from light and air. Uh, it absorbs pretty quickly into your skin and like I said, it's got a lot of good skin soothing ingredients in there. It's got peptides, um, some good ceramides in it. So um, it helps kind of protect the skin from some of the irritation that can occur with retinol. And even if you're at 1%, if you haven't been using a 1% every day, I recommend starting out every other day or every third day. Um, I typically don't apply retinol to the back of my hand so I can feel a little bit of tingling and that's normal with retinol. Um, and usually I apply this um, immediately after I wash my face, I'll apply this. Um, and then a serum, I usually use the First Aid Beauty Ultra Hydrating Repair Serum. And then I apply a thicker moisturizer um, on top just to kind of seal everything in. And I usually use the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. So I definitely am a big fan of layers. Um, but this is definitely a good option to use if you're looking for a retinol. And uh, retinol sometimes gets a bad rap, but there's been so many studies on it and it's been proven very safe, um, despite some people look to avoid that in products. And there's really hasn't been a lot of research showing that it can be dangerous um, that I'm aware of. So if you're aware of something that I'm not, let me know. But uh, definitely a good one. I just like the fact that she's included so many good skin soothing um, ingredients because like I said retinol can be irritating so it's good that this formula has included a lot of good things and it's also fragrance free and it also doesn't contain denatured alcohol and also Paula's Choice brand is also cruelty free so she's got kind of the trifecta going on there in terms of what I look for in terms of ingredients and products so um, it is a little bit more expensive but there are definitely more expensive retinols on the market and uh, it's definitely worth checking out and shopping around. Um, Paula's Choice has a website and she also sells at other companies as well. So it's definitely worth kind of checking out and comparing. So um, for me, I give this product two thumbs up. Like I said, I've bought it time and time again, repurchased. So um, I'm interested in hearing from you guys. If you guys have had a chance to check this out or try it yet, what your thoughts were. Or if you use a retinol and you don't use this, what product do you use and what brand and how do you like it? So leave a message. I love hearing from you guys. And also feel free to subscribe. I come out with at least one new review every day. Thank you guys.